friends, it's me. And today we're kind of in the dark because my eyes hurt. I don't know what it is. I think just because the weather is just so dry here, my nose and my eyes, they suffer. Mouth, nose, eyes are supposed to be moist. Mine, no. But anyways, today I did something a little bit different. Okay, not really, but a little bit. I went to Area 51 today. And boy, let me tell you, what a day. Guys, we are here in the top secret women's restroom. The only restroom in Area 51. As you can see, there's water. That ain't water. Try this out. That ain't air. Wafting up some good old alien excrement. Slightly tangier than human. In here, we have a vlogger in so natural habitat. How does this really relish? That's alien relish. In area 51 relish. No trespassing deal. No photography. Wow, not even gophers are allowed in here. Area 51 Alien Cafe. Here is the menu. We got the drink. Like chili dogs. Are you gonna get a chili dog? Chili got is made of zesty meat. Would you like some zesty meat? Is this zesty alien meat? Just go like right across. I don't that. know. It's got an alien by it. So there is a brothel next door to this restaurant. So an alien hooker could have very well eaten here. They probably only eat here. This is the only place to eat. Do you have the corn bites? Uh, okay, we'll take those and the chili cheese rice. All right, so we got some of the food and it looks bomb AF. These are mozzarella sticks. Chili cheese fries. We got corn poppers, which I've never seen before. So apparently it's like corn, cream cheese, and jalapeno. Try one. Try one. Do you like jalapeno or no? I can't touch it, so can you open it and like... <laughs> There's glue in. There's glue in it. Is it good? What's the inside look like? Oh, these these look bomb. I love them. She's really nice. Yeah. I want to see the inside of it. Is it corn and? Oh, okay. Oh man, look at that. Look at that, bro. That's some stretchy cheese. That looks good. Oh, all that barbecue sauce. Wait, they didn't put barbecue sauce on the wings. I guess you just dip it in it. Yeah, she's, she'll burst into flames if she has it. You'll see my true form. Okay, you know what? These wings are pretty good. I mean, I don't know what I was expecting, but you're not expecting it. I like the barbecue sauce. They have yucky parts. I don't like the yucky parts. Okay, so they can eat The fries are good, but the chili, I don't know, it just tastes good. Are those fries taking you to Flavortown? They're taking me to Area 51. Wow. <laughs> I mean, it's like, I don't really like it, but I can't eat it. Imagine getting an alien, you take them out to you, and they say they have blue mallard cheese. It's like, <laughs> aliens, more human. <laughs> it's okay. It's diner food. It's Denny's diner food. I mean, this is a truck stop, essentially. Uh, Look, alien juice. That's a big jump in price. Alright, so we just ate at the restaurant. They're gonna check out like the brothel right now. But there's one right next door. It's like a pink building. Alien brothel is right behind me. Ugh, I spent 20 minutes in that damn bathroom after I ate. I don't know what it is, the food or the water. I'm pretty sure there was something wrong with the water. So when I was sitting there, a fly landed on my straw where I put my mouth. So I was just, I just yeeted it out of there. I was just like, okay, no, you know what? I can't drink out of it. Then I drank out of the cup and the cup tasted so dank. I don't know, like dusty, crusty, musty. My stomach is, is not happy. I ate something or something was in the food that did not make my stomach very happy. So now I'm having a Perrier. Yay, we got some Perrier up in here. Nothing like water that tastes like your leg falling asleep. But yeah, we gonna check out the brothel now. All right, so we going in this. I don't know if I can show you guys what's in here. Demonetized, inappropriate. This is a food video. Oh, that's where we just ate. Daddy D's Diner. It smells like maple syrup. We love maple syrup. Do they do free tours? Is this the place? They do free tours, but they're not going to let you record. So they said there's a dirt road. You have to find it yourself. They won't tell us where it is. So we got to go find it. So we're just going to drive down this road and see where it takes us. We're doing this for the sign. We're literally sign. just trying to find the sign that threatens our existence. There's this guy to be the road. This looks like it. There's like technology up ahead. Reduce speed ahead. Why? Literally what's up here? So apparently this road has motion sensors and they know when somebody's coming. Oh, this this might be it. This might be it. U.S. Department of Energy. Oh, oh. You're not allowed to have cameras. No recording or transmitting devices. Examination of packages so they can examine your packages. Okay, so I'm getting out. Hopefully, oh, 
old man. I have a fun camera. So apparently there's a guard all the way down here. Like we made it to the gate. This is the gate. I'll have my hands up. I'll put my hands up. What? They won't they won't do anything if I got my hands up. Okay, I am terrified of getting hit right now. They out here calling it the Department of Energy. This is one of the gates. There are several gates for Area 51. I kind of want to go up to the yellow sign and read it. Go sniper, don't do that. So all it says is personnel entering or attempting to enter the building facility are subject to surveillance activity and or the use of surveillance devices. So they're recording all of the people that go through here. So this is the Department of Energy. That's what they like to call it. Yeah, so I mean, I don't know if you guys can see it, but if you look way far in the distance, you actually see a big, huge building, which is our target. But I mean, this is going to be pretty hard to get into. I wouldn't touch that gate if I were you. I would not touch it. Oh my god! Whoa! That's a stealth plan! Oh my god, it's so so fast it flew in the mountains bro that is so loud i wish i got that two damn stealth choppers flew in between the mountains i don't know if you guys can see them anymore oh my god it was so loud they just like whooshed over us it's a warning we just saw two black jets like just fly like whoosh over here so like in between that mountain, like in a matter of like three seconds. It was insane how fast it went. Now I've seen firsthand the new technology they got here. It ain't no joke. We are back here and back to the bathroom. Okay, so we went out to area 51. We went to the gate. Do you think they're taking the people back home? What do you mean? In the jets? Because it's like almost five o'clock now. So it's like maybe it's like a nine to five job and they're just taking them back home in the jets. I really wish you guys saw that. Like that was insane. Like blowing my mind. Make sure you check out my vlog on my main channel. This is just the food vlog and the poop vlog. Oh, it smells dank in here. Oh, when I first walked in, it was fine. Did a little bathroom review, but now, oh. You can tell someone's been in here. Oh. Someone had aliens for dinner. Alright, so I got home from Area 51. It is 2 in the morning. Oh my god. I don't know what I ate, but like my stomach has been killing me all day. I mean, it could be the oil. Usually fried food is like all fried in the same oil. And there's like contamination, sometimes dirty oil. Sometimes they don't change it for a few days. I know, that's gross. That's like a huge reason why fried foods can make people sick. And I think there probably was like gluten contamination. A lot of you guys probably know that I have a gluten allergy. Well, it's not just a gluten allergy. I have celiac, which is like the actual super serious disease version of a gluten allergy. But anywho, so overall, I felt like I didn't talk so much about the food. The food was okay. The wings I had, they were very, very, very fatty. I've never had wings that were so damn cartilagey and fatty. And it's like, usually you eat the skin, you eat the meat, it's fine. But it just had so many yucky pieces in it. Which I don't know, probably the quality of the meat wasn't that good. But you know what? It's the only restaurant in Area 51. I'm not trying to be like super nitpicky, but I'm also trying to like describe my experience as much as possible. The wings were good. I'm not gonna lie. They were good. The few pieces that were like edible. I kind of just like took very small pieces of each wing because a lot of it I felt like was inedible. So when you like chew it, it's like hard cartilage pieces. Y'all know what I mean when I say that? When I say yucky parts, that's what I mean. But I just call them yucky parts. You know, ever since I was a kid, I would eat a piece of meat and there would be like a hard, nasty, bony piece or part in it. I would just always call it yucky part and spit it out. Like, I could not stand that. But the actual flavor of the wings were pretty good. The chili cheese fries, I don't know. I was just so hungry. I kept, like, eating it, even though it just did not taste good. It did not taste like chili. That tasted like... I don't want to say it's some mystery meat, because it's like, what do you mean, mystery meat? They really out here cooking aliens? Which, no, I know they're not. I don't know what really goes down, but yeah, I can't believe like, that was the only restaurant, and it was weird, because that's where the meetup is happening on September 20th, if you guys heard about the whole huge raid of people doing the Naruto run, storming Area 51 for some aliens. But like, what are y'all gonna do? There's nowhere to stay in that city. Y'all have to stay in your cars or y'all have to camp. You have to bring all your own food, all of your own drinks, water. There's only one small convenience store and everybody is planning to meet at that alien center, which was very misleading. I thought it was gonna be like some cool alien center, but it's literally a gas station and there's a diner inside it and a brothel to the right. But yeah, overall, the experience was okay. I suffered a lot on the toilet today. That kind of rhymes. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button in the face. And 
make sure you turn on notifications so you know when I upload. Click, click, and subscribe to my channel. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.